Alright, what the fuck was I making? I was making a motion sensor. That's what I was trying to get. You need three electronic parts, two electro- uh, Okay, what? I need a meat stew. I'm hangry at this point. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Two of those, I don't know. Two electric parts, one mechanical part. Uh, Pretty sure we don't want to. Probably at the vendor, probably need to start like getting shotgun parts. If ever you see him having any. Noted. Craft motion sensor. There we go. Um, let's see here. <sighs> I just want to see what the range on one of these is, because I think you can see their range. Before you try to put one down. So I kind of know how big to make the entrance, because I don't want them, like, shooting each other. So shotgun shot. We have journal entries here. Let's see if the journal says it. Master triggering. Combination of triggers and points. Oh, it's actually in town. What do we have in terms of shot? We probably don't have. We got a pistol barrel. Shotgun short barrel, we need a long barrel. Okay, we don't even have the parts to make. Shotgun. Womp Alright. I kind of want to start getting that work done because I just feel like maybe that'll kind of pull them away. They'll they'll um, kind of gravitate towards the entrance that will be defended versus them just maybe the entrance needs to be on the back side. <laughs> this right, maybe. Halfway considering it. Oh, yep. Hey, get away! Don't even think about it. I don't care if you're late to the party. Really? No, it's just one. Really? He was just coming for the wall. On a roof. <sighs> okay. for your hoodie, asshole. Nerd pull time. Yeah, considering they never come around the front. Hello. I think there's some zombies in that building. Okay. We'll wait for a second. What do we got? Hey, look, a really shitty sniper. Hey, Gang King. How you doing? Rocket launcher schematic, a spike club schematic, a shitty sniper rifle, and some ammo. Uh, I guess maybe. I mean, 
think the cement mixers might honestly be pulling these guys in. Like I say, I don't know how much heat those things bring. Considering we're running three of them. Might be kind of attracting them. animals again. That's becoming a uh, issue. Just woke yeah. up still a little groggy. Like I said, that should soon not be a problem. I want to go ahead and make a couple of so we can find out. Take a look at the door. So is it this? Oh, jeez. Okay, so yeah. Well, we can ge we can generate plenty of vegetable soup, but yet they are not as hard as we can do. Okay, that's fine. Fuck's sake! Just can't make headshots today. There, I'm taking your shoes, and I'm not even gonna wear them. That's right. Let that be a lesson to you. Something or other. Actually, have, have you been in the pawn shop? I don't think so. Okay, I'm gonna search that. That might be a good place to look for some stuff. It's been open, but I think oh, there's zombies in there. I'll go in there and see if maybe I can find some gun parts and whatnot. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to uh, deal with it today, so I can actually, once the stream's over, look up how much, uh, what the range on stuff is. Hopefully the wiki's been updated. So I can just kind of get an estimate on how I want to build the front entrance, which might end up being completely useless. <laughs> My, I keep the, maybe I should just build it around the back, because that seems to be where they want to come from. Alright. So yeah, the meat stew does 60 fullness, the vegetable stew is 21. But, it's all stuff that we can grow, with the exception of bottled water, so... It's at least something we can... we don't have to rely on. Get the stuff for it. Animals have been not very... oh shit. Yeah. So oh, meat stew is definitely shit. still the way to go, but... At least vegetables too, we can make all the stuff if we need to. Oh, wait a minute, that's the point. Oh, well, I feel like... Alright, at this point I'm not sure if I, if that was this map or a previous map. I went in a building like that, but it was a while ago. So I don't know. I think I don't know. This place has a drop ceiling in there, in the ceiling. Uh, of course. Fuck sake, I can't headshot with dick today! <laughs> I cannot pull up a headshot no matter what. Yeah, this is, this is not ideal. This is really not ideal. See a Hawaiian shirt zombie sleeper up there. Alright. So, in practice, I just got about 30% hunger from a vegetable stew. I can't headshot. <laughs> Headshot. I have perfectly lined up shots, and I'm just not hitting anything. Apparently, I 
have to aim this thing slightly to the side because it seems like that's when I make the contact. Aim on this right. bow has gone slightly off. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start heading to the holdout. Oh, it is getting about time in it. Yeah. God, this place sucks. This place so sucks. Hello, zombie inside the wall. What you doing? My problem is zombies in the ceiling. Do not like this. Oh, Jesus. Hello, Joy Cookie. Zombie apocalypse, how, how much you want to bet people start zombie rights scripts, yeah. We kind of talked about that before. Are you kidding me? Where's that from? Oh, great. There's a turd in it. Why was there a crated up toilet with a turd in it? That's the lengths they went to to not have to clean it. <laughs> There's some answers I need, and I get the feeling I'll never find them. That is gonna <laughs> haunt me for a very long time. <laughs> Man, I would be impressed if I could have done a belt like this Hawaiian shirt zombies came. Another toilet. At least that one didn't have poop in it. God damn it. I need to get up, I need to get up there and see. More terrifying than a zombie in the ceiling. People are just pawning all kinds of things. Nope, hi there. Don't wake up. Ah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Apparently, what I've heard for at least how the zombies currently work in terms of sleepers, they all have different <laughs> and random triggers. So, some it's just merely presence, some it's light. Some it's noise. Hmm. It's, it's completely random. I don't even know how you got in the ceiling, lady. Like, I mean, I'm not here to fat shame, but god damn, that was impressive. Also, that the ceiling held. <laughs> back here? Ooh, shit. Did you just fall down and go back up? What the hell? That sleeper went right back to sleep after I exited the room. Oh, you're fat. Not a feral, but you're fat. Twitches too, and my track record for headshotting today isn't gonna make you possible to hit. God damn it! God, he twitches like he's not even part of this world. His whole body is just shaking. What are you, a chihuahua? Jesus! Seriously, should have had that salt emote done by now. <laughs> Yeah, need the moon salt. Uh, you fucker, you respond. All right, double check the holdout. We are clear. All right, that is confirmed. That um, you have to kill them inside the building, or they will just respawn. Cause that this monkey fucker just. Ow, you did not hit me. 
You totally did not hit me. Now he's stunning me and beating me to death. Oh, you fuck face. You did not hit me. Uh, so angry today. Jesus! <laughs> fuck me! Uh, I know it's a zombie apocalypse game, but you yeah, I mean, hit the freaking horde night, and I swear it's just zombie. Okay, that's a kennel, and that's got a dog in it. So fuck this. Fuck this place. Not even doing it. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I'm not doing it. Ah. <sighs> I wanted to do a little bit of scavenging for her tonight. That's all I wanted. I just wanted to look for stuff. And they wouldn't let me. Just standing here watching you is interesting because it looks like you're just. Like, like a dog just going, I wonder what's over here. Pretty yeah, much am. I'm here. just like trying to grab up whatever I can really fast. <laughs> but yeah, that, that one definitely confirmed it because that one zombie. Basically, what had happened the first time I walked into that room. He woke up, I walked out of the room, he went right back to sleep. And then I walked back in, had to chase him all the way out the building, and then as soon as I walked back in, he was right back there again. Like, right where... So they do... <laughs> you have to kill them inside the building. Else they will... There's a high chance they'll just respawn. Ugh. Even if I submitted the moon salt emote, it'd take a week and a, it takes a week and a half for them to approve it. <laughs> Wouldn't have been ready. Paper and safe. That's all right. The first time it's as soon as it's ready. The first time I have a decent opportunity, I will be spamming that into your chat. Buddy, you are early. It's not time yet. We got two more hours. Hopefully, I can find something. Oh, so you, you had. Uh, it's, that's a BS today with a particularly persistent sleeper. It was a cop and a shotgun. Son. Shotgun Messiah that had respawned four times in a row because she had to keep leading him outside to kill him. This time it respawned as a hazmat zombie. She had to kill it indoors, yeah. I'm so curious as to what. Oh, the mining helmet. What, what is the deal with the sleeper code that makes them so, like. makes them like that? Like. I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's, it seems like such a weird mechanic that they've implemented in terms of of sleepers. Alright, I guess we'll go up now. Let's see if you down here. Yeah, I just cleaned out the shelves in here. Huh. <laughs> Salty Moon is salty today. Alright. 
blocked that up with. The bit over here needed to be fixed. Yeah, it's a bit here. <laughs> my expensive rebar for that. Oh. Get the spiders out. <laughs> Was a noise. And, uh, it's a nice day out, so. Today. All right, there. Are you? Where are you at? I'm coming now. Oh wait, pull that frame down there. There we go. Apparently, it's still listed as an ongoing bug for A16-2. <sighs> yeah, it was one of those things, because I watched someone... Um, they were actually going to their holdout building. But the worst of the worst had spawned inside of it right before the Horde Night. And what it was was a feral... Um, irradiated cop. Oh god. Like, that's the top of the top. I think I think that's also known as the zombie messiah. Okay. Yeah. It's the one zombie that will kill all the humans. <laughs> so like he uh, he of course he was trying to kill it inside the, the house. And he just couldn't do it. And it, the only way he eventually managed to kill it was had a bunch of uh, stick spikes and managed to stun it long enough to just start laying spikes around him as fast as he could. And then that was basically the only thing that killed it, because they, they heal so fast, they regenerate so fast that there's just um, no really killing them. Someone recommended pipe bombs are good against them, because they say that in the time it takes you to re the reload animation for your gun, they've healed 75% of the damage you've done to them. Saying they're highly damaged anyway. Alrighty. Yeah, Game to, time. I think the worst thing we're gonna have to worry about today is probably vultures. Yeah. Sorry, we did see that one. Yeah, I didn't come over here, but we did see the one. Hey, I heard well, a spike. Well, did come over here because I heard a spike do its job. Oh wait, that's not you shot. Me. So what? I'm hearing the spikes do their job. Yeah, they won't last long, though. No, they won't. They won't last. They're, they'll, wherever they go, there will be no spikes left. But, you know what? It'll slow them down. It'll slow the first wave or two. I'll take it. I've seen one stream have pretty good results with flaming arrows against radiated cops. I've had a chance to test it yet. I haven't really tried flaming arrows yet either. Like work. Yeah, I've, I've heard the recommendation to either like just slam spikes around them, or pipe bombs, or yeah, maybe the flaming arrows would work too. Actually, keeping my eye on the sky, you should be. Better mining Nice night under a red moonlight. 
Aiming the compound bow when using flaming arrows is less than optimal. Let's see what you're shooting at for the flame animation. Oh, yeah. I'll be honest, I use the reticle purely. I don't even use the reticle on the um, on the bow. Like the, the the reticle I have right now, I kind of know where headshot range is. You know. This evening, I've been having problems with that. It seems like it's gone off a little bit. Um, yeah, I usually I aim by that instead of using the bow's aiming mechanism. I could probably. This is a shitty ass club. Heard that. Um, better than that one. Scrap that. What these? Not better than those. Scrap those. Yeah, we'll, we'll wrap up after um, this is over. So, yeah. There are actually people here now. I can actually can ask you guys oh, yeah. what I was wanting to talk about because basically I was approached last night via email by some company called Docbox. And what they are is apparently this thing where if you install or play apps on your phone, stuff like that, they'll like make a donation to your uh, YouTuber or Twitch person of your choice. Now, I assume that's something you have to sign up for, and I was like, I want to ask you guys what you think of that because. You know, if that's something you guys would be interested in or not. If not, that's completely fine. But yeah, it's like it's supposed to be the thing like install apps or watch this mobile video, and it's worth so much money, and then we'll donate that to the YouTuber or streamer of your choice. Yeah. That was basically the email I got last night, and I looked them up. They're totally legit. They apparently have a good rating, at least, so they're not just some two-bit scam. But I thought, you know what? I'll think about it. I'll think about it, and I'll ask you guys. Has anything you're even half? Anyone might be halfway in. So I, I don't know what people like, what people's interests are in. Like, I know some people that play like tons of mobile games, and then some people, none at all. I'm, I'm a person that I really don't, so... On that side of things, I probably wouldn't do that very much. But other people do, so I thought... I'll put it out there, I'll ask. Apparently it's like a thing that you can either get invited to, or they said like you can sign up for it. As, as a person that receives, but there's like a threshold on it. I don't know. They were like, "Yeah, we went by your Twitch channel and we saw you. Thought maybe here's an opportunity for you." And I thought, my first thought was, "Oh, like here we go." But yeah. So, what are you? So, how much am I paying, or how, how much are you guys getting out of this? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Apparently, like I say, they're legit. They're a legit thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
You like the idea? Yeah, see, I, I'm, I don't ever want it to seem like I'm selling out. I know, I know me and Rick were discussing the, the definition of selling out. But there's like, there's, there's no like contract or anything. There's no like, oh, I have to do so many of this. I have to pimp it like 20 minutes every day and show a commercial. Nothing like that. Yeah. No, I'm used to steer away from those type. There's always an alternative motive. Either getting personal info, don't tell you. But they're gonna sell. Yeah, see, that's what that was one of the things I was looking into. See if they were that kind of group. Yes, yeah, pains of work. We're actually going to work. Now, like a third party bargain of bits for watching us. Pretty much, yeah. That's pretty much that's pretty much what I got out of it from all the research I was doing on it. Yeah, it's pretty much like watching ads for bits. In this case, you install a mobile app or watch a mobile video, and then I guess you can tell them who you want to give the money to, and then they'll do it. But I thought, yeah, like I say, I'd, I'd let you guys get your guys' opinion on it. I never wanted to see- I never, ever want the stream to ever feel like anyone's obligated to do anything. I appreciate you guys just being here, you know. I- I, have, I feel like there's no obligations to donations, no obligations to sub, no obligations to bits. It's all appreciated, but I don't expect it of anybody. And I don't ever want it to come off like that. But I know some people, uh, this this was kind of the other side of it, was I know some people like, I'd love to donate to you, but I just never have the money. And, which was kind of their, their take on their business model, I guess, was like, if you ever, you know, wanted to donate or to your favorite content creator, but you just yeah, but don't, you have don't have the have money, money for it. Yeah. Personally, you don't usually like use your phone that much, so you're unlikely to do it. Yeah, I mean that again. That's all kind of fun. Because huh. I mean, I'm that I'm that way too. I'm very I'm very particular about what I install on my phone. Like even if there's a game, like a mobile game, I think, okay, that mobile game looks kind of interesting. I will research the ever-living hell out of it and make sure there's not some kind of, like, spyware information mining that's on it, you know. I'm, I'm so particular about it. Tell people uh, about what we did. I watched. Oh, yeah. I watched so many fucking ads. <laughs> Yeah, Rick like watched tons and tons of ads just so I could give bits to my channel. <laughs> give bits to the stream. Uh, I would do that, but they don't offer that in this country. That so far has disappointed me. I thought I, there were some streamers I would do it for, and it was just like, yeah, it's not offered in your country. Son of a bitch. I don't think we get Amazon Prime here. I think that's not a thing. Oh, that's something. Yeah, it's in Germany. We're kind of a as a country. We're very particular. We always try to. This country always tries to make sure there's not like some ulterior motive behind something. So it's like a, a lot of big businesses, especially American businesses, sometimes have trouble operating in this country because we're like, okay. Well, we kind of noticed you data mine. We don't like that. So you have to change that model before we'll let you in here. For that kind of stuff. Huh? The Netherlands is pretty particular on basically protecting people. Which is good. Yeah. Let's we'll try to make sure the businesses aren't running crazy over everyone. So, yeah. Sometimes we're the last ones to get things because
corporations decide, Ugh. Yeah, you caught us, now we don't want to operate. We didn't get Netflix until like two years ago, I think. I would think Amazon Prime, because Amazon Prime's the one where you get like next day delivery, isn't it? Something like yeah, that. Yeah, you get a uh, free two day shipping. Yeah. See, in this country, everything would be Amazon Prime. Because typically, mail service here, at least inside the country, if you mail anything, it's there the next day. Like that's, that's how mail service and delivery service tend to work around here. Because the country's small. So, like, if you order something from the local shop, yeah, it's coming the next day. Unless you order it on a holiday or a weekend. That's the other thing, though. Like, weekends, don't expect anything. Mail service right. still runs on weekends, but... Clean up time. Ooh, look at all the crawlers. I see the lucky spikes did their job. What I would not give for a Molotov right now. No time to be drinking. Oh. There's I thought lot. there was a zombie up here. There's a bunch of crawlers up there. Oh, dog. Why did yeah. it down? I hear a couple of them. Alright, that dog's done. Oh, there's oh, there's a horde coming in. Mm -hmm. Oh, y'all are late. Yeah, it's nice. There's a whole fucking horde after horde night decides to show up. Oh yeah, there's still more coming. It's, it's the morning spawning. It's the normal morning spawn horde. Oddly timed, boys, actually. I'm gonna let the spikes do something. Huh. Horde Knight is completely opposite of what you're used to experiencing. What are, you, what are you used to experiencing? We are currently kind of, you know, it's only day 29. Levels between Rick and I are kind of uh, far between. Wow, they're still coming. So the hordes um, base themselves on your level or group level. Oh, I fell down. down. Hopefully there are no ferals. Let's Doesn't see. look like it. No. Oh, no, they're all coming for me. Yeah, they're look at. Holy me. shit! You've got a nice just swimming parade going on over there. Something's hunting me. Right? Oh, I drew some of them back. Lots of murder and gunshots galore. Well, that would require having a decent gun and enough ammo. <laughs> Scavenging has it. Just We're getting kind of suffering from not getting the good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, to be frank, I like living through Horde Night, so... <laughs> and we, we don't have enough defenses or anything to actually take these guys on yet. We're getting there, but we're not there yet, so... Yeah, we used to kind of fight him, but... Mm, just kind of waste arrows at a certain point. Okay, yeah, we don't. We just don't have enough resources to do it. It would be a waste of resources. Whoa! Hello! You just snuck up on me. Metal Gear selling it. Sell it anyway. There's a bunch just trapped behind that building there. I would say I hear a lot of growling. Right, what's going on, guys? Hey! 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 That building has done nothing to you. You leave it alone. That. Could have maybe possibly been an historic landmark or something. Ah, oh, crawler hit me and sprained my leg. Oh, yeah. God, there's still more of them. Jerk. No, you're dead. Oh, my headshotting is back. Oh, you got your powers back. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, a jar of honey. Thank you.
I'm still trying to get over here. All right, so what's the damage? Okay. Oh, yeah, it's pretty of it. neutral, actually. Good job, Spikes. You did your job. Oh, it looks like oh, they got. They were starting to go down. Yeah, I see that. I'm gonna have to actually reinforce oh, there's that. Another. Oh, there's a couple of next one. Swimming, I see you swimming on air over there. You need to stop that. Stop. Obey the laws of physics. Stop. That. I'll shoot you in the ass. Don't think I won't. Ooh, another blue spruce seed. Got a hazmat jacket. All right. Anyone else? Oh, hello. All right. You're done. Alright, anyone else? Anyone else? Fewer. Alright, yeah, looks pretty clear. Yeah? Drastically less damage building this time. Good job, spikes. Forcing the wood seemed to help too. All right. <laughs> <Fred>. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, from, from Arizona sunshine. I'm just calling all the zombies Fred. That was a weird game. Is killing a zombie really murdered? They really have feelings? Can reproduce? Well, they are good at reproduction. The problem is, <laughs> it's a different method. <laughs> oh, there's, just, there's a lot of bodies in the streets here. And is rarely consensual. Just saying. Yeah, what am I gonna do for that? I can pick it up if you don't have any room. Uh, just grab some shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, I stepped in it. Yes. Let's damn it this time. <laughs> yep. Spikes and reinforcement definitely helped. Just know you're sexy. <laughs> sexy is indeed a good state to be in. Check the floor just right before we go to just make sure everything's running smooth. Ooh, ooh, rabbit! I see you up there. Stop running, you son of a bitch. Damn it. I can't. Oh! How did I hit the rock and not the rabbit? Oh, you're cornered now, bitch. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna go oh, in the building. You that wall? Damn it! Nope, nope. Fuck it. Not going after it. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, yeah. These rabbits he are just. Hopped, he hopped the hopped the wall twice his height and ran inside. Like, damn it! Rabbits are annoying in this. They really I are. I, had him, I thought I had him cornered. <laughs> like, oh nope. He said, "Never mind. I'm not dealing with that." <laughs> There's sleepers in there. I don't want to deal with that. Powers are back. Just having an off day yesterday. It helps that my frame rate gets slightly dodgy and it makes pinpoint aiming kind of hard. 
Because all the farmers really know how to work the cord. <laughs> you know, they, um, they're used to, to getting the uh, uh, working with the, with stocks and. Um, Yeah, I got a composite bow. I found it like forever ago. I've actually already had to repair it once. Out of the way the door is there. Uh, let's see. Paper doesn't go in there. What goes in here? That does. gun. Alright, where are we keeping the turds in it? The turds? Food. Seems like a logical place. I suppose if you're desperate. Okay, let's go check the forge real fast and then we'll wrap it up. And then remember today to look up what the shotgun uh, turret range is so I know how to start building the entrance. Okay, alright. All right. Yeah, I'm all set. Wants all of my brass, so you get low on, low on brass for ammunition. Yeah, I try not to scrap it if I can help it, but. This finished all its work. Let's have it make some more steel, because it's gonna take a little while. Actually, it's not gonna take that long to make that much steel. Four minutes. There we go, there's that forge. It's so hard to control the burn on these forges since they're running so long. Kind of semi constantly, so I want to make sure they're not. Keep them in production, but at the same time, kind of keep the heat map a bit lower. Cement mixers are. Uh, I just got the sand one to start on another stack because it finished what it had. So I started another round. Because both the cement, both the others are still going. 
one's not too far off from being finished. Oh, I'm still out this thousand less than that one. Do I have enough stone to start another round? Yeah, I'll be able to. So how much is this one working on? This one's 12 minutes left on that one. This one's still got an hour left on that one, so... A chest up here just for I'm gonna a chest real fast, just for concrete related stuff. I think I'm not like carting sand up and down. There's right there. Just put it on the wall. Yep, put it on the wall. Any more? Yeah, there's some down here. Take that. Put the. There's some sand. There's like 3,000 sand down here. Um. Uh, all right. Yeah, we'll keep all that stuff together. That way we know what our supplies are like. Perfect. And I'll put the rebar in there for now too. Bingo! Alright. I'm good to go. Do. Okie dokie, so Rick, you're gonna go do you're gonna do more zombie stuff today. Yeah. In celebration of your birthday I'll doing, tomorrow. I'll be doing zombie stuff in a few hours. Hope you have hope you have fun with that. Definitely let, you, let us you, know how it goes. You will be among the first to know, and I'm sure I'll be talking about it tomorrow. Sweet. All right. Well, you got anything? I do not. And if seven days would go ahead and actually close the window, that would be deal. Oh, jeez. Alright, well there. I'll just do that. Alrighty then. I will go ahead and hop off. Alright. Bye, 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 bye. Right, so as for me, um, yeah. I don't think I'll do an extra stream tonight. Mainly because, um, the long dark story mode is supposed to come out tomorrow. Really want to do that. So. We might look for an evening stream of that tomorrow, but tomorrow, regular stream, Seven Days Die, we'll continue with that. And tomorrow's Rick's birthday. So yeah, be here to wish him a happy birthday. I know Dark Omen did. <laughs> and uh, King did as well. And um, yeah, so we'll be back tomorrow. I don't think I got anything else. Um, yeah, so maybe an evening stream tomorrow, like I say. We'll see how, every we'll see how I get everything done and set up but um thank you for stopping by today hope you guys had fun thank you very much i appreciate it um i'll kind of look more into that gawk box thing and let you guys know further on that later and um that's it so that's all for me hope you guys have a great day i'll see you guys next time bye 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 bye